Crime Tracker 10, keeping you safe and informed about crimes where you live. Investigators are looking into a rash of car break-ins at Metro Parks. 10 TV's Ken Karina Nova shows us the parks thieves are targeting. From park to park, thieves are targeting your valuables. They are 100% successful in their break-ins. So we, we know that they're watching visitors. We know that they're watching us. Watching to see where you put your phone, hide your keys, or what you leave in the back seat. And in the short time 10TV was at Black Lake Metro Park, Rangers pointed out a laptop left sitting in the back seat. That is my laptop. It's my laptop and, my, and all my school books. Not only that, but Jeffrey that's Bing crazy. also put his keys by the gas tank. Rangers say that's another common mistake. Like never just never really thinking about it, never really, really thinking that it's going to happen to you or it could happen to you. But it can, and it has. Thieves have hit Slate Run, Three Creeks, Walnut Woods, the golf course, and Blacklick. The Metro Park staff is being proactive. They've posted these signs at some of the parks reminding people not to leave their valuables. And if they do see something, they warn them with these notices. And if, if we can see that, that means potential criminals can see it as well. The recent thefts at the Metro Parks have been linked to one group of people. Rangers are on the lookout for their car and are working with other agencies to catch them. But they say park goers also need to look out for themselves. I should be a little bit more conscious of, of where I keep my stuff. In. A conscious effort that could make or break a day at the park. Karina Nova, 10 TV News. Park rangers say another common mistake is putting your belongings in the trunk. They say thieves can easily break a window and open your trunk. Instead, rangers suggest putting your items out of sight before you get to the park.